I went to go and I went to use a bathroom and it was a dildo um, on the bathroom sink. Savage! I'm a savage! Oh! What's next? I gotta get it. I'm not gonna stay fucking down. I'm not gonna stay fucking lying down. I'm not. I can't do that, man. Cameron, the Dipset rapper, and bad boy Boss Diddy were spotted hanging out together in Miami over the weekend, and things got pretty interesting, to say the least. While the pair looked like they were having a good time, Cameron made a shocking revelation on the Breakfast Club radio show. He found a dildo in Diddy's bathroom. That's right, you heard it correctly. Cameron spilled the tea, saying he stumbled upon the sec toy in the bathroom. Yikes, can you imagine the awkwardness of that moment? Despite the scandalous discovery, Cameron is still considering doing business with Diddy, hinting that his sports talk show, It Is What It Is, might be making its way to Diddy's Revolt Media Network. This wouldn't be the first time that Diddy has been caught being gay. According to reports, the music mogul's reputation for being fruity goes way back, with some even pointing to a song by independent rapper Blood Orange as the starting point. Back in the day, Diddy made a guest appearance on Blood Orange's track Hope, and in the music video, he can be seen rapping some pretty revealing lyrics. Sometimes I ask myself, like, you know, what is it going to take for me not to be afraid, to be loved the way, like, I really want to be loved. Diddy says, but that I know how I really want to be loved, but I, but I, like, scared to really, really feel that. Whoa, talk about dropping hints. Although Diddy hasn't explicitly stated that he's gay, these lyrics certainly make it seem like he's getting pretty close to insinuating it. And fans are definitely taking notice, wondering what it all means. Fast forward to 2019, and Diddy's confession about his depression only added fuel to the fire. Fans urged him to come out of the closet, with many praising him for being so open about his struggles. However, Diddy is yet to confirm or deny the rumors. Interestingly enough, even before he became a household name, Wendy Williams, the queen of urban gossip, hinted that Diddy might be more than just a ladies' man. But in a surprising turn of events, the two icons reunited on Wendy's show in 2017, where Williams gave a heartfelt apology for any hurtful comments she had made about Diddy's personal life. I know I pissed a lot of people off, including you, but this is a full circle moment. Everybody, get into adult conversation. While Wendy's apology for the shot she took at Diddy is heartwarming, the thought process behind it is very interesting. Why would she refer to Diddy as gay if she didn't know anything about him? Why did she think that would offend or irritate him? Was she attempting to bring him to justice? Was she trying to expose him? A lot of people certainly think so. When it comes to LGBTQ plus issues, the hip hop culture is terribly behind the times. It's a sad fact that even so-called woke rappers like J. Cole use anti-gay slurs. According to critics, homophobia has become normalized in the genre, making it practically impossible for anyone, including Diddy, to come out of the closet. That would explain why, despite Diddy's frequent hints, he never comes out and admits to being gay. 50 Cent has also on several occasions hinted that Diddy is gay. He once posted something on Instagram that he later deleted. The caption stated, Sorry, I can no longer help you guys. Soon you will all be gay and happy, 50 wrote. You are all now left under leadership of Puffy Daddy. In June 2020, the rapper released Gay to Move On, a song on his breakup with longtime lover Cassie Ventura, with Bryson Tiller. And it appears that Cassie's new husband, Alex Fine, was not pleased. Fine, who married Cassie in 2019 and has two children with her, appeared to criticize Diddy in a now-deleted Instagram post. On June 18, 2022, he wished his LGBTQ plus friends a happy pride and included a link to a nonprofit that assists those who are in the closet, as well as resources such as Gotta Move On. Fine clearly knows something we don't, which has others wondering what Diddy is hiding. As if that wasn't enough, Diddy just made matters worse by praising Lil Nas X's hot performance at the Ben Awards on Twitter. Nas had just wrapped up his hit single Montero with a passionate smooch with a male backup dancer, and Diddy's cryptic tweet in support of Nas's sexual expression only added fuel to the fire of rumors about his own sexuality. It wouldn't be the first time that Diddy's been absolutely hooked by another man's performance if this clip is anything to go by. While some fans have defended Diddy's support of Lil Nas X, others believe that there may be more to their relationship than meets the eye. One user said, I am like how everyone assuming Diddy gay just because he gave Lil Nas his props can't even congratulate someone gay cause everyone gonna assume shit y'all really corny and need to grow up as a y'all to grown for the childish BS y'all be on. In fact, the hip-hop community has been rocked by rumors of a steamy encounter between the two stars. Speculation began after a video emerged online showing Diddy with his hand on Lil Nas X's thigh, leading many to question the nature of their relationship. But the rumors didn't stop there. In a recent interview with No Jumper, Lil Nas X made some explosive claims about their alleged encounter, saying that he and Diddy had slept together and that the rap mogul was a freak in the bedroom. Since then, the rumors have only intensified, leaving fans wondering what really went down between the two. As one fan put it, Diddy must be gay. He'd be too bothered by Lil Nas. 
it's clear that there's a lot of speculation and gossip surrounding the situation, and it remains to be seen whether any of it is true. But for now, the rumors continue to swirl, adding fuel to the already fiery drama between the two hip-hop heavyweights. Sean Combs has always been in the news due to an ever-fervent rumor mill churning out reports about him having affairs not only with Will Smith, Kevin Hart, and Usher, but also with Rick Ross. And now, 50 Cent appears to be joining in on the fun. What is he talking about? Vincent <laughs> oh, has gone off. When Vincent's people gone. say that to me, I get a little uncomfortable. That's 50 saying he feels uncomfortable when Diddy seemingly acts gay around him. And let me tell you, he might just be feeling a little more uncomfortable around the man if his accusations toward Diddy are indeed correct. Yeah, Mr. Lee. What, what, yeah, I love this drink. Where you put my bag? I like yeah. when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, where you put my bag? Daddy, I like Mr. when you when oh, you right scrambling here, right and here. scraping for no, 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 shit. No, 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 I got I no like that. Shit. You know, I've been practicing. I got yeah. This time, he took aim at fellow rappers Diddy and Rick Ross. The star, real name Curtis James Jackson III, didn't hold back when he posted two scandalous photos on Instagram on Sunday. The photos suggested Diddy, Aka Sean Combs, and Ross, Aka William Leonard Roberts too, were gay. The couple can be seen performing on stage in one of the photos, but the angle of the photograph makes it appear as if they're locking lips. Yikes! In another photo, Diddy is wearing a pink shirt while hugging former record executive Steve Stout, who is also dressed in pink. I ain't saying nothing, but something ain't right. El Mau, 50 said wrote in the caption, but it appears the rapper suddenly realized he'd gone too far. Soon after, the 38-year-old removed the post from his Instagram account. This isn't the first time 50 has accused Diddy of being gay, recalling on The Breakfast Club the time Diddy asked 50 out for shopping. But it appears 50 wasn't entirely off the mark with his joke, because there has been footage of Rick and Diddy discussing his mansion, and many believe the two were about to kiss before abruptly halting. Perhaps they stopped because they don't want others to know. Watch and decide for yourself. They gonna say that's Illuminati, the niggas got too much money. But guess what, it felt good when the nigga said, you so successful, we can't believe it. 50 appears to be correct in his appraisal of Diddy, because Diddy did, at one point, not only call Fabulous Daddy, as we previously demonstrated, but he also called Meek Mill Daddy, so there's that. And then there are also the rumors that Young Miami dumped Diddy for having gay affairs. Young Miami recently took to Twitter to voice her desire for a monogamous relationship, stating unequivocally that she has no intention of sharing her next partner with anyone else, prompting followers to speculate as to who the lucky guy might be. Young Miami has recently been open about her feelings regarding relationships, admitting that she has no desire to marry since she is afraid her husband will cheat on her. I don't want to get married cause I feel like men are not faithful, she confessed on Instagram Live over the weekend. I take everything personal. I will never forget. If my husband cheats on me, in that KLL him. That certainly seems to be firing shots at whoever gave her reason to think that, Aka her last partner Aka Diddy. So it definitely seems like, after Cameron's reveal, there is now even more evidence of the fact that Diddy is indeed gay. Will he ever come out and reveal it? Only time will tell. But if he does, you should know that we were right about him from day one. That's all for the video folks. Thanks for watching and goodbye.